Welcome again, everyone. So far, we are going good with the uh, bind server configuration. Next thing, which is very important thing, and uh, this is the main part of bind configuration now. Because previously, everything we have done, that was infrastructure readiness for bind. So now we are going to configure domain zone file. So what is a domain zone file and where we configure? First, we will update etcname.con file. Basically, we are going to update our zone information in etcname.con for forward and reverse lookup. You can use VI or VIM to add it or add your entries. One thing which is very important to understand, what is its zone configuration file? A zone file is simple text file that contains mapping between domain name and IP addresses. Basically, you specify if we have to do some forward lookup, which particular configuration file to be used. If we have to do reverse lookup, which particular file to be used. And here we also configure what is the type of that particular domain and uh, whether a low update which is basically to update the zone is allowed or not you can see on my screen i'm going to add this particular content in etcname.conf so here let me give you more example what this file or what this content is all about here in this example the zone is opensky.home so this is my domain you can say which i'm going to configure opensky.home so my server name will be client one or whatever name you want to give to your server let's say test server dot open sky dot home open sky dot home is a domain which is specified as is on in this particular file and uh, after that you can see the type is set to master so basically i'm saying this is master this is not slave because in zones or dns configuration you can have a master and a slave so i'm using master only so i'm saying this is master after that, uh, I'm specifying which particular file to be used for forward lookup. Here I'm telling forward.opensky. So this file will be contained in var name directory, which is the default path. After that, uh, I'm specifying a low update is none, which basically mean uh, we are specifying that uh, named not to allow any other host to update. So that's a configuration. After that, you can see uh, this is for opensky.com. After that, I got uh, one for uh, reverse lookup, where I'm saying any IP, and just it's reverse of uh, IP address 192.168.1. I'm getting rid of dot 200, which is DNS IP. I'm specifying a reverse file here. Again, this is internet record. I and mean internet. It's master for reverse lookup. Use this particular file. A low update none. So this is the things which I'm going to put in my etcname.com to configure opensky.home zone. So let's do a quick lab here, guys. So here, let me take backup of etcname.com. So in case I have to revert, I can revert easily. I'm just saying it's my before zone. Okay, let's add it the file. Okay, I'm going to end before include statement, you have to add to your zone. Here I'm pressing con escape I to insert the data now. You can see here it's done. So we have added our two directives for zone configuration which is basically for open sky dot home and you can see i have used the definition syntax as it was used before so it looks good to me let me save this file let me do a cat for you so you will be understanding what i did i just added these two directives that looks good to me so this was the configuration for zone config file that's it in this session guys thank you and next session we will be talking about creating forward and reverse local file for the zone 
opensky.com which we just updated in etcname.com thank you again stay tuned